All right. Hello? Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Wednesday. August 21st, 2019. Noob Discoveries here. Playing the third game in the Phoenix Wright Trilogy. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Game number three is called uh, Trials and Tribulations. Hello. Hello. And um, we're on episode two. We're still on episode two. Um, but yeah. It, it, it started off as a murder case. Started off as a murder case. Uh, no, no. Started off as a theft case. And now, now we're dealing with the murder. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but there was a murder, uh, and it's the same guy. It's the same defendant. So, yeah, we got him off the stealing trial. We got him off for stealing, um, but now he's on trial for murder. Where do I find these guys? Holy smokes. All right, let's go. Stolen turnabout part, turn part four of one. Wait, part four dash one? Part, part one of part four? Episode 2, Part 4, 1. Right. Okay, we're just about to hit the trial. This is a second day trial. Hey, Nick. What is it? I don't believe how many people are here for the trial. The murder case? They're here for the trial next, next door. They're having Detective Atmish trial. Oh, because he's, he's supposedly masked the mask. We're gonna try him as Master Mask. That was fast. Oh, to see Master Mask's trial. I know. Wait, who's this? Is this Coffee Man? Where's Pearls? Went back home. Can't, she can't neglect training. What is she doing then? Maya is the master of the Kurain village. And she never trains. Hey, Beats Turtle? Also, coffee and computers. How are you two doing tonight? As you can see, we're still playing Phoenix Wright. Well, we just started up again. Um, but this is only episode two. I don't know how many episodes are in this game. How's everyone doing tonight? It's still summer. The heat is still on. The heat is on. How'd your stream go, coffee and computers? I know you're doing... Are you still running that... Uh, Death by Daylight or whatever. Dead by Daylight. I know you don't like me. Who is talking? Pearls has really gotten into her training, huh? Ever since that incident. I think Maya has... She went... She did go training and that's why we had... um. What's her face? Emma. That's why Emma substituted at the end of game one. Because Maya went to go train. Oh, it's Ron. It's our, it's our, um, client. We're ignoring our own client. Mr. Delight, good morning. No one likes me. Well, I mean, at least he knows. No one would notice me even if I killed someone. Which you allegedly did. You don't mean you're the murderer? No. Just a poor thief. And we found out he was taking... He stole the tear of Eminon, the first uh, theft. But the later thefts actually um, planned out by someone else. That's not right. A thief can't really be poor. You relate to Ron? But all our people ignoring you? Oh. You must let your presence be known, Beach Turtle. Second crime on, he was following a bunch of set plans. Plans someone had been sending to help him to sending to him to help him commit heists. Really think there's a connection between the thief and the murderer, Nick? Possible today's trial is a race against the clock. I wonder if this is only gonna be a two-day trial or we're gonna go a third day. We should take our time like always. It's not an option. Alright. I get ignored or forgotten, left out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Sometimes you just got to be loud and annoying 
That's how I do it. I'm just loud and annoying. People can't ignore me. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. Defense is ready. Or maybe, maybe, you just need to hang out with other people who won't ignore you. That's also an option. Preparation is the last refuge of the week. Begin with your opening statements. Ron Delight, simply too young to be sent to war. That's all. Eh? Yeah, what are you talking about? You need to get out more, Your Honor. Life is war. That is exactly why you must be more precise in your wording. I like how he has his hand open waiting for his coffee mug to slide over. There it is. That's all my statement means. You understand now, right? All right, let me briefly summarize the details of the case. Victim is Kane Bullard, CEO of KB Secure. Actually, no. This is not the second day trial. This is the first day trial. This is the second trial in the episode, but the first trial was actually about Ron stealing the urn, which was concluded. This is actually the first trial of the murder case. Even the teachers handing stuff out forget yikes. I mean, that's just bad teachers right there. There is a lot to the, yeah, there kind of is coffee and computers. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't watch the other streams, you're pretty much lost. Or if you don't watch from the beginning, the, uh, it's, it, the story can get pretty convoluted. Body was found in a safe at approximately 9 a.m. on the morning of the 13th. And that's why, that's part of the reason why I like these games though. Is because you, there's a lot of information you gotta take in and then you have to analyze and um, you have to make sure you're following the story well because then you gotta solve the case kind of thing. You kind of lost, yeah. That's right. I mean, it's a lot easier when you just turn on the game and you start killing zombies. But this is like very uh, crime detective kind of stuff. So as a viewer... Um, if you haven't been watching from the beginning, it's it definitely is confusing. Like who's killing, who killed who, and who's the suspect, and what all this information is. Time of death estimated as 1 a.m. of the pre previous day. That's when our little lost kitten dropped the ball. Okay. Mr. Goddard, please call your first witness. Never drank more than 17 cups of coffee during any given... That's a lot of cups. 17? During a... Oh wait, that's only during a trial. I guess trials can last over three days, but... It's still a lot of cups of coffee. But the first one? Always the best. Mr. Goddard, your witness. Let's hear what the defendant, Ron Delight, has to say. All right, defense, no. Maybe a bit of a disadvantage having the defendant testify. Well, generally most uh, defending attorneys would want their witness to take the stand, I would think. Remember when Mia was defending me, allowed me to testify, she could do the cross-examination. All right, no objections. Defense will allow Delight to testify. Got guts, trite. It's right, you bonehead. Mr. Ron Delight, please take the stand. You did it, didn't you? What? He just admitted to murdering the guy. Hello. Pump those numbers up, Mr. Godot. Not right. How many cough? How much? Oh, yeah. I've heard of coffee withdrawals, or no, actually, it's not coffee withdrawals. It's Caffeine withdrawals, and I heard the headaches that come with it are super bad. Like I doesn't sound fun to uh, experience. Or remember, yeah, exactly. What? I mean, this this is what I'm talking about. Even the characters in the game don't pay attention. So that's why we, as the player, have to pay attention. I thought we'd set the record for the shortest trial ever. 
Captain Light already looks plenty guilty with that face he's making. Too bad you can't convict someone on the faces they make, Maya. Once he opens his mouth, he probably put the last nail in his own coffin. Can you tell me something? You didn't kill Bullard, why'd you go to KB security? Kind of to say, boy, I wish I could go home. Alright, testimony, testimony. Evening around 1 a.m., went to Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. Blackmail letter I got ordered me to go there. Been working for KB Security until a year ago, I knew where his office was. That's it? That was three sentences. We get washed away by the tides of fate. Strong, drink it up. Bitter today. Just like my destiny. Oh, you know what? When I was in Brisbane, we went to this coffee shop. I forgot what it's called. Had this like fancy waffle breakfast thing to it, which was kind of weird. But the coffee was excellent. Very good coffee. Never known that from the way he's chugging it down. Apparently, it was like coffee beans um, with the hints of chocolate. And not, not like sweet chocolate, like the dark chocolate. This is very good coffee. Ooh. Very strong, too. Cox's examination, if you please. Visit to KP Security. Alright, press. 1 a.m., absolutely sure? That's what my watch said, entering the CE's office. Not really sure, my watch is slow. Internal clock was also your internal clock. That's the exact time victim Mr. Bullard was murdered. Too late for a coffee date, that's for sure. Yeah, because no coffee, well... I mean, you can make your own coffee, but coffee shops aren't open. Blackmail letter I got ordered me to go there. Ordered you? First time I got in a blackmail letter ordered me to go somewhere. You've gotten other blackmail letters? Of course. Oh. Why don't you save letters for la later, Mr. Light? Okay. Uh, press harder. What did the blackmail letter in question say? Bring $50,000. Perfect motive, well... Wait. Never intended to pay money anyway. He had nothing to hold over my head. I had nothing to be afraid of. Have that added to your testimony. Oh. Money Mudskipper in outer space has a better chance of surviving. Oh, Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. When are you gonna stop giving up before the trials ended? Blackmail threat didn't scare me, wasn't going to cause me trouble. What were you being blackmailed about? If you don't want your identity revealed. Sure, is referring to whole mass to mass. I wasn't worried, Mr. Bullard didn't have anything on me. Anyway, I don't care what anyone says about me, as long as Desi believes me. His pretty wife, look at her, wears little uh, motorcycle wheel earrings. His delight didn't believe he was masked to mask. Why I knew there were just hollow threats. Been working for KB security until a year ago. I knew where his office was. Used to be a security chief? Yes. And yet, a year ago, you were fired without notice. Revenge for an old grudge, a perfect motive for murder. Uh, change the subject? Why? Why was he fired? Why you're fired? World is filled with those who have said, I wish I had never asked that. I needed money. Needed money? Jesse loves to spend, kind of a hobby. Maybe you need to talk to your wife about spending more than you have. Salary wasn't enough. I stole data from the, oh. That's not very good. You need to realize you have plot. Yeah, right? Phoenix. Phoenix does not have the fourth wall knowledge. You know, he doesn't have the fourth wall knowledge that he is the main character in this game. And we will help him to victory. And we have a save option. KB Security has a lot of security on all sorts of companies. Since I was a security team chief, stole some data and sold it. Bullard found out I was fired. 
Somehow able to keep it secret made it seem like I quit on my own. Someone brings harm to the company is fired as punishment. Do well to remember that. Admit you stole data from your company. Is that correct? Very important fact. Oh, look, we're adding all this testimony to you. Buying shit is not... Yeah. Well, I mean... If you buy collectibles, I guess, maybe... I mean, people buy... Like, figurines or stamps or, you know, sports cards or something, right? That's a hobby, collecting stuff. Usually, there's a general... Um, not motive, a general theme with why what they buy, though. Fired me for selling company secrets. Desi doesn't know. Is she in... Is she in the courtroom right now? Because she knows now, doesn't she? Why would you like to do something like that? That's his hobby. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you, though, CNC. I agree with you, Coffee. It is not a hobby. It's been, it, like shopping. Well, you know, shopping can be a hobby, too. I don't know. Whatever, right? I don't know. You do it for recreation. Wasting money. No. Not a waste. Miss Delight doesn't know her husband was fired. Not sure what to think about couples who keep seeing. Yeah. It, My Maya's a smart girl. Only 19. She's very smart. Try to stay focused. It wasn't much to his testimony, was there? It sounds like he's avoiding something. But it sounds like. Okay. Maybe we need to get a different testimony on the. Um, why he was fired. Okay, let me go back to here. Blackmail didn't throw you. The work I, I knew was like, fire me for saying, but the, okay, go back. Press this one. Security guard, year ago you're fired, no notice. Oh wait, was that that one? What were you being blackmailed about? Oh, what happened? Boy, I didn't know something new was going to happen. I'm afraid the reason is going to hold up. Victim had no proof defendant was masked and mask. You were the one who stole company secrets one year earlier. Over while I was all over with once I was fired. We don't know that. True that the fact I stole secrets was kept under wraps. Even so, there is no reason for me to pay up now. Whole year later. Huh. What is it? Should we save? We got, we got, we got the music going on. Fact that Ron was stealing company data. Wonder if he would have had a problem if that ever became public knowledge. No, not especially. Oh, didn't you say Mike? Oh God, I guess I was supposed to pick the other one. Let's try this again. Objection. Objection. Yes, you would. Mr. Delight believe you would have been considerable trouble if your identity as a company data thief was made public. It's right. You're trying to do by bullying your own client. We're not bullying him. We're just asking him questions. Men are like colonies of bacteria. More you heat, more heat you apply, faster they grow. What? Uh, that makes sense. Doesn't bacteria die under heat? That's why we have fevers, because fevers kill... But, well, is it bacteria or viruses? Maybe it's a virus. Right? That's why the body has fevers, because when the body... The fever is in response to a foreign invader. Oh, cheerful camper! I had to watch it. Oh, God. I know. I might, I, if I could turn off the ads, I would. My suggestion, uh, get you block Origin. Uh, that's been blocking the ads for me still. But Cheerful Camper, how are you doing? It has been a long time since we've last seen you. How's life treating you? It's almost September. Are you got to go back to school soon? Back to college. 
Well then, feel free to keep up the heat, my little lawyer amigo. Yes, come on, provide evidence to back up your assertion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Back to school? Yeah. Back to the engineering classes. Why would Mr. Delight want to keep his data stealing secret from going public? Why would he want... Uh... Because his wife? Present! Mr. Delight, what you said now doesn't match what you told me yesterday. Oh, you're looking forward to it. Nice. Is that your last year? Is this your last year coming up? It is, right? Didn't you say it was? Or am I misremembering? Oh, hydrate. Drink some water, guys. Or something. Must have been very scared of having a certain person find out your secret. Uh -huh. Certain person? Desiree Delight, defendant's wife. Oh, man, see? Last year. Kind of exciting, man. Are you doing any... I know you're working presently. Is that related to the engineering field at all? Like, is it an internship or something that you can maybe springboard into a permanent position or, like, work connections or something? You'll be making bank when you become an engineer. Listen to me. My Desi? Jeez. I just sit back and relax, fun will end. We you know it was all your wife's fault. What do you mean? Oh, you work in a print? Oh. Hey, it works work. At least you're earning some money. But hopefully you can get some good internship or something uh, into a good engineering company. Stole company data to pay for his wife's spending, which was he was fired. Unable to face his own wife, someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. That's how this murder came about. Alright. Don't talk about my Desi like that. Or you'll be sorry. Ooh, is that a threat? Ah, it seems that we learned a great deal of things. What do you think? I didn't think it was possible to get so thoroughly whipped in 20 minutes. There's su su the sufficient motive for murder. Stole data from his wife or his wife. Killed to protect his secret. Family man who cared just a little too much. I've learned more about paper than I thought, <laughs> than I thought I'd ever know. Like all the different stocks and the sizes and the different printing, printing types, right? Like photo printing, laser printing, jet printing, all that other stuff, right? <laughs> I mean, it's actually, it's, I mean, not even that, right? Um, they also have like binding, right? Cause I'm sure you did a lot of binding and book, uh, you know, paper bindings and all that stuff. And I mean, it's, it's a lot more complex than people might think it. That's why they have print shops. Cause not everyone can just, I mean, it's not one, you need the machinery for it Two, You got to know how to work the machinery, you know? That's why print shop's a thing, because people don't have the equipment or the knowledge to do what they want to do. It's pretty complicated. I mean, technically, you could become like a, a print engineer, printer engineer, right? Like, um, I'm sure Xerox, you guys have Xerox in your, uh, wait, do you guys have Xerox? It's an international company, but they, I mean, they're... They're, they're tech men. I wouldn't call them engineers, but they fix printers, right? They go out and service printers and stuff like that. Motive is clear. Let's move on. Not that I think you'd want to fix printers earning an engineering degree. Probably could, get, probably could get something better than that. What happened at the crime scene at 1 in the morning? Tell us. We're all ears. All right. All right. But do you like your job, Cheerful Camper? As long as you like your job or at least are content with it. I mean, that's the main thing. And it's, you know, it's a job to tide you over until you graduate. Always good to have some spending money. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow. That looked like acne shadow. 
Suddenly I was hit on the forehead. After that, remember being a bit dazed. Had I been wearing that, I would have been killed. Do you have a job, Beach Turtle? Have you ever worked? Um I mean when you get I mean when you get out of high school at the very least. Actually you could start working now, but it's it's very nice to get that income, you know? When I came to, Bullard was lying there dead. You stuffed him in a safe. It's only hit on the forehead. I believe the detective from yesterday provided similar testimony. Master Mass struck him on the head from behind. Since Atme turned out to be the culprit himself, that was a lie. No one's gonna believe a pathetic lie like that. I really was attacked. Wouldn't he be injured? Find out what you say during cross-examination. Well, he's... God, I want to slap this guy. My name is Wright, not Trite. Don't go easy just because he's your client. If I see any sign that you are, I treat you to another cup of my special blit. Well, I like coffee, go dot, so in your face. Some background work never had anything other than that. Well, I mean, a job's a job. It doesn't matter what it is. I don't need to worry about that, Mr. Godot. Faith and Ron? No, he didn't do it. I st Doesn't he look like a girl? This guy's drawn like a girl. I thought he was a female at first. So when he said he had a wife, I was like, what? When I entered the office, there was a suspicious, suspicious shadow. What was the shadow? Thousand of me, if even one knew, I tell you. Dodging all of our questions is not helping us win this game. Well, he doesn't know, Mayo. He's not dodging anything. How was the victim, Mr. Bullard, at the time? How was he? Was he already dead? Was he alive? Maybe he's the one who hit you in the first place. Good question. What do you think? No, we're asking you. It's a lucrative job. Really? Background work? Maybe that's might you what you might want to do, huh? Did you ever finish your uh, carvings and your sculptures and stuff? Uh, you're gonna color your dragon head and then the Cernunos sculpture engraving thing, right? Did you get? Did you ever get finished that? It's a trap. You haven't seen a trap car? <laughs> oh man, I went to Thailand. And you know, you know, there's a lot of like ladyboys in Thailand, right? So dangerous. Because a lot of the girls, the guys, the girl guys, the ladyboys are way prettier than like real Thai girls. It's, it's very dangerous. Suddenly I was hit on the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. Forehead, yes. Hit on the forehead as soon as I entered the room. Amazingly fast and powerful attack. Remember anything about who hit you? Like I said, fast and powerful. I was a little dazed for a while. No thing is the light. Even grasp what you're asking. Alright. I think lucrative. Yeah, yeah. It was very dangerous. I mean, when you see like a really pretty girl there, you you have to always second guess. Is that a girl or a guy? I mean, if they're really tall. You're like 90% sure. I mean, 90% of the time, it's a guy. Because a lot of them like are like super tall. So they're wearing like 6-inch heels and they're tall on top of that. They're giants. Hadn't, hadn't been wearing that. But no, I would, I would say visit Thailand. It's a great place to visit. Everything is cheap. The people are, the people are nice. Actually, even, even if you talk to the lady boys are super nice too. Everyone's pretty nice over there. Granted, they're trying to get your money, but yeah. Um, I think it's like 32 baht per dollar. And that's, it goes a long way. If I hadn't been wearing that, I would have been killed. Wait, wearing what? Could you please clarify? Mask to mask. Oh, he was in costume. Wait, just a moment. I forget to mention it. On the safe side, I dress as Master Mass. Then I descended upon the office of the CEO of KB Security. 
You never told me. Even I. Oh, look, he's smoking. I don't know why he's wearing this visor, though. It seems our little friend loves to keep secrets. He's never had a chance to mention it up until now. You know, sometimes... Well, actually, you did... Well, no. He mentioned he was masked to mask, but I guess he never did mention he was wearing the costume when he went to the office. Ternun is still working on trying to figure out how far I want to go with his face. It's not that much... It's not that much area to work with too, right? Because I know it's not that... Like, the whole... The whole thing itself is only, what? Five... Five by seven, right? Uh, I mean, Sir Nudos is... Is probably not even that much face to work with. I don't have exact experience carving the eyes. Ah. No. You know, even, even with just drawing, eyes are hard. I don't... I don't know how people even paint eyes. Six cup of coffee staring me up at me cold. Six? That's a lot of coffee. I mean, we've only been in this trial for like 30 minutes. Wearing the visor, he has a scar. I wonder if it has something to do with why he knows who Phoenix is, but we don't remember who he is. I wonder if it has something to do with that. Anyway, can't ignore new piece of... I think someone's cooking bacon. Thought this spell's good. Correct your testimony. I'd have been killed if I hadn't been wearing my masked and masked costume. Why were you dressed up as him? I'm masked and masked. Hey, talk. That's what he was saying the whole trial before judge. Masked and masked trial held next door. Anyway, at the time, I thought I was being blackmailed over the masked and masked issue. A legitimate. <laughs> Illegitimate child of Von Karma. The old guy. Yeah, you're not talking about the daughter. Because I don't... Well, actually, that guy's the older than the daughter. So maybe... Yeah, maybe... He's the bastard child. Thought I should go as him just to be safe. It's a real pain to move around with that kid. Took a lot longer than I expected. Wait, wait, wait. Press harder. What do you mean? Took longer for what? Opening the safe. Oh. Cape got caught on the safe door. All happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullard's body. What? What an idiot. You were the one that hid the body in the safe? Yeah. Because he's an idiot. Inconceivable. What were you thinking? When does someone toss their dirty shirts in the washing machine? Uh, on laundry day? What, the, what kind of question is that? That's just simple. When they take them off. No. No, no, no. I have a hamper. Dirty shorts don't get into the washer until it's laundry day. You're weird. I guess I could use the machine as the hamper. Yeah, Ron is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he's kind of annoying. I mean, he's airheaded, right? Is what it is. As usual, no idea what you're saying. I do like the prosecutor though. Godot is pretty cool. His sayings... His sayings are a little strange though. Not gonna lie. Mean Mr. Delight hid the body. He's the murderer. Not as stupid as... Ouch. Metaphor this time was obscure. You knew about this whole safe business, do you? Well, uh, why am I the only one not in the loop? Because you're a dumb judge. Make sure you add that we're adding everything to the testimony. Look at that. Panicked, hit the body in the safe. Took about 10 minutes. Wait, wait, wait. It took 10 minutes. Why did you hide the body in the safe? It wouldn't fit in a... It wouldn't fit in a drawer. What an idiot. Not exactly what I meant. Saw the corpse, I kind of lost it. If they find this corpse, they'll think I did it. Yeah, so stuff it in a chest make you look more guilty. Yeah, simpler reason than that. You killed him. Uh, that's why he spent 10 minutes hiding the body. It certainly makes more sense. 
10 minutes? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 1 a.m. Uh, buzzer went off at 102. Wait, 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 wait. If he hid the body, if it took him 10 minutes to hide the body. I, I guess. Just had a thought. Under those circumstances, would you normally try to hide the body? Right? Because the alarm was rang at 102. Spend whole 10 whole minutes to do it. What circumstances? If you think his behavior was strange, why don't you present some evidence? Here we go. I think it has to do with that, either the alarm or the autopsy. Present some evidence. Heard from Mr. Delight yesterday. Not much in this testimony either. He's still hiding something. Wait, wait. Hid the body, took about 10 minutes. I am gonna show. Oh, not that. This? Woo! On the first try. Who would have thought? We're so smart. Your Honor, would you please take a look at this record? What might this be? Record for the emergency buzzer connects the CEO's office to security. Look at him slap that peeper. Ugh, take that peeper. Take it. You like the slaps. If the button in the office is pressed, security team is supposed to come running. According to the record, buzzer was pushed once at 102. Which is strange. Which is strange because the guy, according to the autopsy, he was dead at 1 a.m. So the buzzer was actually pushed two minutes after the guy was already dead. Mr. Ron Delight truly was the murderer. He would have ran as soon as the buzzer sounded. After all, security guard would have been heading his way. Objection! Objection! Remember who we're dealing with here. Probably had no idea. He's the chief. He was the chief. What are you talking about? Had no idea there was security personnel in the building. He was, he was the chief of a security group. Objection! Objection! Until one year ago, client was working as chief of exactly right, right. What does this game think we are? Objection! There's no way he would have known about that. As it turns out, guard never came. He didn't know that. That was nothing more than coincidence. The fact that the guard was a pathetic loser, Mr. Butts, but just got him punched in the face by his ex's new boyfriend, which is irrelevant to anything that's being talked about right now, wasn't anywhere in the vicinity, was not something Mr. Delight, Delight could have known. Objection. Objection. Remember who we're dealing with here. You sure bet Mr. Delight didn't even notice the buzzer going off. Objection. That's, that's, that's a lot of objections. <laughs> buzzer is extremely loud. No way he could have ignored something like that. That's one burn to the butt. You know, if there's a smell, it's usually the butts. Something like that, right? Ah, so many objections. I think that's the most objections we've had in the span of like five minutes. If he had been conscious, that is. Oh, that's right. He was knocked out. What do you mean? What do you mean? He was knocked out, stupid judge. Fine. Let's hear your theory. Call the defendant's testimony. The moment he entered the victim's office, someone attacked him. The light said he felt dazed. Willing to wager, he was knocked unconscious for at least a few minutes. So he fainted? That's why Mr. Delight didn't know the buzzer had sounded. That's why he thought he had time to hide the body. What are you trying to say? Mr. Delight was knocked out. Buzzer went off soon after. So someone else, someone not Ron or whatever his name is, 
Bullard, the CEO, press the buzzer. Unless my client was able to hit the buzzer while he was unconscious. Only mean that there was a third person in the room. I know it says another, but a third sounds better. Whoever it was, they knocked out Ron Delight and pressed the buzzer. All right. Preposterous. It was this kid. Ron Delight is the one who killed Kane Bullard. A lot, again, a lot of lo objections. Left and right. Objection, objection, objection. It was... It was the one-armed man. A victim. Press the buzzer when the defendant attacked him. Didn't die right away. Must have held on long enough to push the button. Oh, uh, we have evidence. No, he didn't. Kane Bullard sounded the buzzer himself. No. Save. Can I prove it wasn't Kane Bullard? Yes, I can prove it. Defense's opinion is this, Your Honor. Piece of evidence proves it wasn't the victim who sounded the buzzer. His autopsy. What do you think? I can't hear it. The sound of a buzzer. It's going off inside your head at this. Are we right or wrong? Emergency buzzer of your heart. What? You need. Oh, that was wrong? This piece of evidence proves it wasn't the victim who sounded the buzzer. Uh, the, this? Do I do this? There was, yeah, you're right. There was still music. Uh, there was no fingerprints. Oh, maybe that was it. I believe, oh, okay, there was no fingerprints. This piece of incontro incontrovertible, uh, what? What does that mean? Incontrovertible evidence you were looking for. I guess uh, without a doubt kind of thing. Incontro I'm going to look that up. Incontrovertible. Incontrovertible. Not able to be denied or disputed. Learn something new. Word of the day. Unable to deny or dispute. Emergency buzzer. There's some kind of clue on it. Objection! I know. Objection. There's all different kinds of objections. Objection! Absolutely not. Come on now. At least give me some thought to what you say before opening your mouth. The fact that there are absolutely no clues is itself the clue. I'm the one. You're always... Uh, why does this guy even have dialogue? We know you're clueless, Judge. You're the worst judge in history. It kind of sucks that we... He's the, he, It seems like he's the only judge in this entire court district. Fingerprint has no fingerprints on... Button has no fingerprints on it. Mr. Bullard had really pressed it himself. Naturally, he would have left his fingerprints behind. Oh, we got him to spit his coffee. Ron Delight obviously wiped them off. Why? Guard could have come in at any moment. He touched the... Where's your proof? Where's your proof he touched it? The fan in Mr. Delight was dressed as Master Mask. Master Mask always wears gloves. What reason could he possibly have had to wipe the button free of fingerprints? Alright, it would seem... I've been forced to eat crow. What? Is cr Can you... I mean, I don't think crow is poisonous, but... Do people eat crows? What? Yeah. Why is... That's a great question. The judge is dumb. You know, however he became a judge... He, mu he must have kissed some butt to get up there. Wonder what blend number crow flavored coffee is. If the real killer was at the scene, why would that person press the emergency buzzer? 
because he was leaving and he wanted to get Ron Delight in trouble. Shouldn't they have run away without putting themselves in danger? The awkward silence. Looks like you're fresh out of parlor trick. Alright. Real- Okay, I guess we should save. Real culprit killed Bullard at around 1. Mr. Delight just happened to watch in when the murder was taking place. Killer clobbered Mr. Delight sounded the buzzer. Even though security was supposed to respond right away, if the buzzer was pressed, security was supposed to respond? Maybe he knew security wasn't at their post. Time's up, Mr. Wright. Let's hear what you have to say. Maybe, maybe that's it. Alright. Why did the real killer sound the emergency buzzer? Uh, they didn't mean to? Or to call the security? Call the security. Killer knew if they pressed the button, guard would come running. That was exactly what they wanted. Killer- Yes, that- I- I get- I get annoyed that all- like, a lot of this dialogue is constantly just repeating itself. Like, we just- this judge is always, You mean to say killer called the guard? That's what we just said. And like, every time we need to clarify to someone what we just said. It just- it just stretches out the game needlessly. Like, it's anno- it's- I find it anno annoying. We're constantly having to repeat ourselves. It's like the game developers did it just in case you as a player weren't paying enough attention. Something. I don't know. Although, as it turned out, never showed up. He was getting his clock cleaned at the time. Alright, touch your story. Saying the killer had a change of heart, called the guard to turn himself in. No. No, no, no. Buzzer sounded three people in the office. Vic victim Kane Bullard already dead. Defendant Ron Delight out cold. Third person, the real killer. I mean, that's, that's, that's at me. They should have really used a silhouette that doesn't match any other characters. Just to keep the mystery going. But yeah, that definitely looks like Luke at me. Now then. Situation, if the real killer made an escape, what would happen? Only ones left in the room would be the victim and Ron Delight. Any security guards came running at that time, they would think I was the murderer. Exactly. Frame Ron Delight for the murder. Drink some coffee just so he could spit it out. What a waste. You would think him being a coffee connoisseur, he would not waste any. It would seem I've been made to eat my words once again. Right? I mean, maybe, maybe they're using that silhouette just to throw us off. Um, but I'm not... I mean, they should have made it a blob or something. Even made it do a spit take with a cup of coffee. Who was it? Who was it that tried to frame me? I'm the one and only master mask, so... Real killer is... I th we're going to drag that person in here. I think it's... Well... I think we're... I think it's going to be Luke at me. I don't know, Beast Turtle. Here you go. I don't have any solid proof, but think about it. Killer knew Mr. Delight's identity. They also knew he had been called to KP security that night. Killer used him to execute well-crafted plan to murder Kane Bullard. Who was it that framed Ron Delight for the murder of Kane Bullard? A prey to drunk, it's not loot. Well, we're gonna use it. Detective Luke at me, he's the only one who could have done it. 
Your Honor, person being tried in the court next to us is not Master Mass. He is in actuality the true murderer of Kane Buller. Oh, there you go. There you go. We're already a we're accusing him, Beat Turtle. I think that's what the case is. I right? They could have they could have hid the silhouette a bit better than that. Theft and murder, which is a more serious crime. Murder is the more serious crime. Capital crime subject to capital punishment. Remember the trial from yesterday. Look at me confess there's huge commotion in the room. The famous detective was unmasked as well as masked the mask. Instead of being convicted of murder, he was found guilty of grand larceny. Yeah. I'm sorry, Beat Turtle. This is how the story is developing. And it was easy enough to predict because, yeah, I mean, that's the silhouette gave it away, right? That was his true objective all along. Found guilty. Master Mass had the perfect alibi for when the murder took place. Stealing the urn at Lordly Taylor. Other words, being found guilty as Master Mass. Was Luke Atme's airtight, watertight, unassailable alibi. Guilty verdict. As an alibi? The little mother. Little mother fudger. No, it's good. It's almost time for what? Luke Atme's verdict. Pretty simple trial. We're going to stop this trial. Stall that one. We need to do it now. Of course. It's assuming you have proof the detective was the one who committed. Ooh, that one is a little hard. Do we have proof that Luke Atme committed the murder? Attention, uh, attracted the attention of the entire country. Where it's true, failed to provide adequate proof of his true crime. Mr. Delight would be left with no grounds for appeal. It's only good when your life's the answer. Please, begging you. The decision will determine your life. You can't really risk your life. Phoenix! Oh, Mia's talking to him from the dead again. Don't worry, Phoenix. For your client, take the path to trust. Wait, how am I hearing Mia? Is is someone like channel, channeling her from across, across the city? Defense requests immediate recess. Very well decided as well. Court will now take 20 minute recess. Well, there you go. That's right. When we return, summon Luke at me. Yes, your honor. Deuce X. Let me drink some water. I'm, I'm feeling a little sleepy again. I don't know if it's this game particularly Or if it's just my energy has been low, but I've been like tired when I stream I'm not sure why like I'm like half awake. I Don't know not well. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I think it's just, I think it's this game to be honest Because it wasn't like this when I was playing Dishonored Well, sir detective at me He's back. I have to say, Mr. Payne performed splendidly. You're the, who's the judge in this trial? He's... He looks like... He looks like the son of the other judge. With the beards. What's with his hair? Part sees no reason for the prolonged trial. Court finds that the defendant. Objection! Hold it! Hold it! Don't hand down your verdict yet. Sir lawyer, welcome to my courtroom. Who's this hoser, eh? He's Canadian. Name is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Wish to file an accusation against the man, Luke Atme. You accused Master Mass. He's a ruthless murderer. Nani? His eyes are kind of weird. Oh, look at him. He's sweating. He's been caught. Oh, to be continued. Save. 
All right, I'll be right back. I'll use the bathroom. I think I'm going to get a little snack too. Heavy jerky. Okay. Okay. You hate his eyes? It's just his eyes. I was going to get a snack. I don't have. But like, snooze, you lose. Okay, okay, okay. So we saved. It's back. October 14th, 1214. Let me see. My sis? Could have sworn I heard Mia's Maybe? You know, we hang out with Maya long enough. Maybe... Maybe we're developing spirit medium powers. She's still alive. Inside your heart. Nikki boy! Is it true Detective is the real killer? I don't have any definite proof. The only one who could have done it. Wasn't he at Lordly Taylor? Not to mention, we don't exactly know his motive. That is a good point, Maya. We don't know his motive. It looks so weird. Yeah, when, when he's got his... Yeah, they look... Well, they look poorly drawn. That's for sure. What to kill Kane... What to kill Kane Bullard? I wonder if that's like a... It's just like a throwaway judge. So they drew him haphazardly. Better get back to the courtroom. We need to find solid proof. Gotta happen sooner rather than later. Yeah, Maya being smart. Um, do we have... Maybe this? Ah. Uh. Ha ha ha. I wonder what it was. What is the proof that shows at me is mass, uh, not mass to mask. Part back in session. Look at me, take the stand. How do you do, sir, lawyer? Never would have thought to see you acting recklessly. Didn't let them hand down verdict just yet. That wouldn't have been given you your perfect alibi. Alibi by the name of Mask the Mask. I'm afraid even the great Luke at me has no idea what you mean. Chris has been in the next courtroom ever since 10 this morning. I'm afraid there's no way I could have known what's been going on. Being tried as Mask the Mask can be truly child's play to fool the ignorant masses. Only did the poor fools ask me to protect their valuables. Even gave me a generous reward upon returning their own property to them. Take this red diamond ring. Sparkles upon my divine finger, for example. Oh! If you don't want to take that red diamond you received. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. This blackmail letter? I'll take the red diamond. I think this blackmail letter is addressed to at me. And then at me used it to bring Ron over to the CEO's office. But this letter is actually for at me, not Ron. I think that's what it is. Huh. Continue to insist you are in fact master mask. 
Of course. All right, Luke at me. Begin with a simple question. Kane Buller was murdered. What were you at the time? Without knowledge lacks even the knowledge that he should be ashamed of himself. Don't worry, I will not hold it against you. Alright, Mr. Attorney, night of the murder. We're all ears. Alright, testimony. Stealing the urn as master mass just as I announced I would. More than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. Photograph contains no words. In this case, one turned out to be my witness. Who is this guy though? If this is not at me, is is this? Does that mean this is Ron? Possibly. Well, okay. the The murder took place at one o'clock, and then oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Maybe Ron got instructions to steal the urn. Uh, time in which the camera captured Master Mask was the same time as the murder. My point of discussion will be the photo of the crime scene. Has to be a secret to the picture. Besides the collar, right? Well, this, the paint. Even the great Master Mask cannot be in two places at once. All right, cross-examination. A fool is too foolish to know that he is, oh God. Who said fool a lot? Von Karma, right? The girl Von Karma. She will always say fool. I think he's trying to say you're full of it. Only thing that's full of it is his alibi. I know, right? We're back to the fools. Maybe he's related to Von Karma. Feeling the urge, okay. Photograph is the proof. Indeed it is. Man in the photo is certainly wearing a mask. Uh, that's why I'm called Master Mask. Also means there's no way to tell who this really is. Objection. Seeing this is not Luke at me, could be an accomplice dressed up as Master Mask to create an alibi. Are you saying I, Lone Wolf Luke at Luke, had an accomplice? Yes. The accomplice was Ron. Yes. If Luke Madme was at KV security during the murder, Master Mask has to be a fake. You had an accomplice. Save, 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 save. I think it was Ron. Make your basic claims, treat you to penalty. Ooh, does that mean more coffee? Penalty is probably boiling hot. Ooh, nice. Who is it, Mr. Trite? Who was the accomplice? We're gonna do it. Uh, not Luke, Ron. It was this person. No, it's wrong. Quite the prank you're trying to cool. The aura that. Oh, God, it's wrong. So it wasn't Ron. Oh, that's a. I think you just, you just, you just blew my mind with that, with that, um, with that thought, Beat Turtle. Andrews, why couldn't it have been Andrews? Let's, let's press the rest of his, um, statements first. The witness. Adrian Andrews hired you at one point, right? Over 20 days, if I'm not mistaken. Sent the calling card to Lordy Taylor 10 days before the heist. Then you sent out the card after you began your security watch. I, I still think maybe it's the wife. I think it's the wife, you know. Like the wife, the wife knew. The wife knew that Ron was the criminal. He hired Andrews. Oh god, it's so confusing. No reason why I couldn't do both jobs at once. 
Perfect opportunity, steal my latest target. Evil is what I am. Isn't there something odd about this? At me was always proud of his ace detective skills. If the urn was stolen from Lord Lee Taylor while he was the only one watching it, he'd have no way to maintain his perfect ace detective persona. What the hell? Maya's actually making sense here. Oh my god, stupid people. He was sending Ron to be framed. Oh. That's why I think it might be his wife. Because the wife knew Ron was Master Mask. Hey, Gamer Elite. With the host once again. Two nights in a row. Thank you very much for your generosity. How's it going, Gamer Elite? How was your stream? Photograph contains no words. In this case, one turned out to be my witness. Meaning this piece of evidence? Very thing proves I committed the crime. Very thing proves you committed the crime. We are playing uh, Ace Attorney Trilogy. And this is the third game, Trials and Tribulations. Second episode for everyone who is joining from Gamer Elite Stream. But we are a variety streamer. And we are currently playing this game. Aloha to you, Gamer Elite. Thank you. Thank you very much once again. Good to see you. How is your night going? Almost as if you had this picture taken on purpose. As an alibi, right? Objection. Simply caught by the very camera he had set up. Yeah, which is kind of suspicious. We all have days like that. Turned out there was no such thing as the perfect crime after all. Truly is an ironic thing, sad blue melody. If he's truly, he's gotta be something phony in that photo. Something in the photo. This? Slow, chillin'? Nice, oh, nice. That's right, as long as you're relaxing, you know, taking your time, you're getting your mind right, maybe that'll help. I don't know. I mean, he is missing the brooch. Blue feathers, hat. I mean, too bad we can't see color. Because it might be the wrong color. Alright, last statement. Thought the camera took this photo. About to make a snack. Ooh. A snack sounds great. I'm pretty hungry myself, actually. About the camera that took this photograph. It's all to clear what you're thinking. I altered the timestamp on the photograph. That's impossible. What? Camera was set up by Lordly Taylor. On top of that, Lordly Taylor staff printed that picture's data. Oh man, what kind of snack are you thinking of getting? PB and J? Ice cream? Fruits? Sandwich? A meal. Fortunately for the hot pocket. You know, hot pockets are good. Fortunately for the defense, no way a picture could have been altered. Is his alibi false? Past B couldn't have killed Mr. Bullard. Not spotting anything unusual. Two possibilities. Past the mask in the photo is fake. Or the photo is fake. I will be coming to Purloin Moist Priceless Treasure Korea and take a look. Speckled urn, won't you? Wait, 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 wait. Take good care of the speckled urn. The urn didn't get the paint speckled, the, the paint specks, until Adrian Andrews dropped it. At me would know about the speckles, the specks, because he was a security guard. 
but Ron wouldn't know about it because he never went there. Right? How does the letter know? Huh. That's interesting, huh? White cheddar. Oh, that's. You can never go wrong with mac and cheese or bacon. And you combine those together. You're just, you're just making a man jealous now. So either the picture is fake. Either the picture is fake or or the mass or the master mask is fake. I Okay. So we know the statue of Amy Fay was covering the paint stain, right? Cuz uh, Andrews dropped the vase and spilled the dropped it in paint right she used the statue to cover up the paint stain after the theft the oh that's okay after the theft the statue was moved though so why was the why was the statue moved at this point oh maybe that's the contradiction right Hold on, hold on. So maybe it is Adrian Andrews, Beast Turtle. I'm gonna try. You know, that's the only two people. It's either it's either Adrian Andrews or the wife. I don't think it's the wife. Yeah, why was it moved exactly? We're gonna save, save again. Photograph is proof. Man in the photo wearing a mask called Master Mask. Also means no way to tell who it is. Uh, it could be accomplished dressed up as Master Mask. How to uh, name the accomplice? Let's let's try. Nope, that's not it. I'm gonna try the wife. I'm gonna try. Or do we not know? Maybe he didn't have an accomplice then. Maybe it was butts. Maybe it was Larry Butts. Take that! Nope, that's not it either. Yeah, good try. No, that was a good thought though. That was a good thought, Beatster. For a time enough is easy job. Adrian Andrews hired you, right? Over 20 days. Sent the calling card to Lordly Taylor 10 days before the heist. That would mean you sent out the card after you began your security watch. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, it has to do. This says something about the speckled urn. When did the urn break? Broken and repaired by Adrian Andrews two weeks ago. Then replaced in its box. Why was the statue moved? Adrian dropped the urn's box. She also knocked over some paint. Oh, there's no paint on the box. Hold on. Can we, can we, hold on, hold on. Can we look at the picture? Why is there no paint here? Would the paint be on this? So that means this is a fake box? Or... Is 
You sent the card after you began security watch. There's no reason I couldn't do both jobs at once. Isn't there something? There is something odd. Atme was always proud of Ace Detective's skills. Right? I mean, I mean, I want to say that's part of the thing, right? If the urn was stolen from Lord Lee Taylor while he was the only one watching it, he'd have no way to maintain his perfect persona. But to photograph in, uh, in this case, one turned out to be my witness. Very thing proves I committed the crime. Okay, provided the camera, there's no way I could tamper with it. Not have killed Kane Bullard unless I had an accomplice. Think hard about the night. Think, think, think. Think, think. Basement warehouse picture supposedly captures it. And he's missing his collar. Found in the shadow of Amy Faye's statue, looked like it was torn off. Okay, so the paint was spilled when Adrian Andrews dropped the vase. And she didn't cover it up till later? Or what happened, right? I mean, the box, the, the paint already has the cutout of the box. Isn't there something funny about this? Oh, there, we didn't get this prompt before. You bet there is. Definitely something strange. Ooh, we should save here. We got it. We got, I don't know why this prompt came up now. Take a look around the basement that night before the theft took place. There's something in the photo that doesn't match my memory. A statue. Here, what do you have to say? What about this photograph do you find funny? It's either the box or this area where the statue was. I want to say... Take that. Funny part is right here. Blood. No, it's not blood. Stain is actually pink paint. From blood to peaches, Judge sure loves... Wait, wait. How can you even tell? This photo is black and white. Huh? And if it was blood, it'd be a dark color. I don't know. I guess they can see it in color. We cannot. Kind of sucks. Problem with this photograph is not the paint. The problem is when you consider the layout of the basement. Turns out something that should be there is nowhere to be seen. We don't know what we don't. We still don't know why it got moved or how it got moved. Rather, Mr. Wright, what is supposed to be in this picture instead of the paint stains? Gotcha, suckers. Supervisor of the treasure exhibit stated the following. Good reason for that. On the day of the crime, around noon, one statue just happened to arrive from the mounted training hall. Realized that the statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. So who moved it then, right? I myself was there the night the death took place. Saw the statue in that spot. If this picture was truly taken on the night, that statue should have been there. Objection! Objection! I like- I love how this guy says objection though. OBJECTION! When I went there the day after the theft, the statue of the old bag was sitting in the corner. Someone pushed there accidentally. The statue is slightly larger than yourself, quite heavy. Take more than an accidental push to move that distance. Can you prove it? Uh oh. Can you give us rhyme and reason as to why the statue is moved? Oh, we're gonna save again here. Right? A powerful objection voice. Objection! Mm. 
Okay. All right, can we prove this? Why did they move it? Hope you're prepared. Who was the one who moved the golden statue on the night of the crime? Was it at me? Also, also, that sword thing, the Shichishito, was removed from the statue. Remember that? Um, I'm gonna say at me. Wanna move the statue? Another than Luke at me. Wait, what do we have? It's simple. Witness was the only one in the basement warehouse that night. Indeed, very simple. Why would I want to move a heavy golden statue? Reason for moving the golden statue. Here's where our battle really begins. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He wanted people to look at him and not the statue, right? What reason did the witness have to move the statue? Can be found in the photograph. Pretended to be masked to mask. Create an alibi by showing you were at Lordly Taylor that night. Photograph contains single fatal flaw. If the statue had been there, your lie would be expo exposed like cheap film at a drugstore. What? That's why you have to move the statue. What? Wait, what? Where in this picture does the lie exist? I don't... What? Why did he have to move the statue? Oh, he, oh no, I didn't want to click there. Frick. I wanted to click on the court records. Stupid. For some reason, the culprit didn't want the statue in the picture. That's what I thought. Oh. I did it again. What the hell? Can we just reload? It was made beforehand. You mean the paint stain? Did I just save? I just saved. Oh my god. I just saved. I didn't load. I saved. Oh, I'm losing all my... Look how much penalty points I lost. Holy crap. Oh no. What a noob move. Statue was placed there, then needed to match up. Oh my god, I'm such a noob. I lost all my penalty points and saved over the save slot. So it's on the it's where does the lie on the box then? The lie is master mask. Master mask is a fake. Statue hadn't arrived and played. Oh, that's right. That's I don't know why I can't. I couldn't put two and two together. Because the statue just arrived that day. And that's, that's why Adrian used it to cover the spot. Right? She didn't have it on hand. So it wasn't there this whole time. You know, I really wish you would start acting more responsibly. Current question is, why was the golden statue moved? What possible connection could there be with Master Mask's identity? That wasn't it. Oh my god. We can't make any more mistakes. Because I saved over our high penalty point save slot. 
We just lost the game. Oh, shush. I was trying to I was trying to reload, but I saved. So we took all those penalty hits. Hey, look at that. I think it's the it must be the paint on the ground. Or the or the the collar? Nope, that's wrong. Oh, that was what a bone move. It's right here, the paint. Somewhere, nope, that's not it again. What? Don't save, load. Where is the lie? When I clicked on the box and it selected him, or the, the time? Maybe it was the time. I think I did. <laughs> All right. Question is, why was the statue moved? For some reason, culprit didn't want the statue in the picture. Oh, it's the time. The lie in this photo is the time stamp. Because the statue wasn't there, so he had to move the statue, right? Because... I don't... Yeah, because the statue wasn't there. Yeah, like you said, like you said, Beats Turtle. But I wasn't looking at the timestamp, I was looking at where the statue was. I'm sorry. You already said that. <laughs> I just... I, was, I wasn't looking at the picture, right? On the night in question, at me went to KB security, murdered Kane Bullard. It's obvious. It would have been impossible for him to have been at Lordy Taylor at the time. What did that have to do with the statue being moved? Remember, if you will, when was the statue placed beside the warehouse door? Taken down to the warehouse on the day of the crime. Placed there in order to cover up the paint. I had my doubts because it didn't contain the day, right? That's That was the confusing part too. It just said the time. Luke at me had already decided on the time when he was going to kill the victim. In order to create an alibi for that time, took this picture days before the murder took place. Wow, isn't that Ocean's Eleven or what? That's what they do in Ocean's Eleven, right? They, they stage the theft on their uh, makeshift um, vault and then they overwrote the cameras that the guys were seeing in the in the actual time with the video time right well you are much smarter man than I beats turtle <laughs> that's why I'm called noob discoveries because I'm a noob of course, the statue hadn't yet been brought down to the basement warehouse. On the day of the crime, Atme must have been quite nervous. Nervous is a long-tailed cat in a rocking chair factory. Huh? That's a weird analogy. Something that wasn't supposed to be there had been brought down place where it wasn't supposed to be. And that is why Luke Atme had to move the statue on the night of the murder. Did it to make the room match with the way it had been in this photo. You see that? We, we made his glasses fly off. One comp mo uno momento, your honor. Have you forgotten this? Data for the basement warehouse computer. According to this, camera did indeed go off on the night of the crime. True that the camera had been set up by the Lordly Taylor staff. The program used to manage that data was yours. That alone would have allowed you to tamper with the data. Ah! He's sweating more. Yeah. Guys, that's why we hydrate. Just in case we sweat like Luke at me here. 
Dot warned you about making me wait. Put the coffee down. It's his 11th cup. Will you stop drinking coffee? Promise to drink no more than 17 during a trial. I'm still good to the last drop. However, defense is a good point. So what? All about travelers on a road of infinite points. So philosophical. Got his points mixed up with his other points. His photograph was taken ahead of time. That was moved in order to make it match. Very interesting idea, however. One point that can't be denied. Only possibility. I mean, that puts doubt on your whole case. What? You have to prove beyond reasonable doubt, Mr. Godot. Game is dumb. Men that are trapped by the chains of maybe. This maybe messes up your whole case. Ugh. Gosh, he's gonna die from over drinking. Yeah, you know, caffeine withdrawals is a thing. Can never reach their dreams. Very true. Don't fall for that, Your Honor. Well, Beach Turtle in reality. Defendant? The defendant is innocent until proven guilty. So any doubt that we can that as a defending lawyer that you can cast on the prosecuting's case you need to they got to prove beyond reasonable doubt that the crime was done so just cuz it's a maybe doesn't i mean it kind of it takes away strength from his case it doesn't matter maybe or not the whole point is it's a possible so he needs more facts to back up his side of the argument. No funny business in your actions, but I mean, I've been talking about this the whole time we've been playing this game. Uh, this courtroom, it doesn't matter. It's just you need facts and it doesn't matter which side is presenting what. It's kind of like there is no judge. Well, this game is based on there is no judgment until everyone argues their case. So... He's not guilty, he's not innocent until the judge decides which is going to be. There's no funny business in your actions, mask to mask. There'll be no problem. Actually, it kind of leans more towards guilty before proven innocent. Because we're always having to defend, you know, show proof that, you know, we can poke as many holes as we want in the prosecuting's case. But we have to prove beyond reasonable doubt that he's innocent. I mean, that's how this, that's how this case court world works in Phoenix Wright. And Jared, learning about court differences in real life and this game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> going on, going on a little spiel. It kind of bothers me, that's why. But yeah, I mean, in this case, it's, it's guilty to, until proven innocent, apparently. Because all he did, all Godot is doing is giving one account of what happened and that's it. It is our job to prove it false. Like, even though it's a maybe on our side, you know, we have to prove that we have all the facts to back up our arguments. Uh, but yeah, so kind of, it's kind of dumb in that way. But I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, we wouldn't have a game if that was the case. Because the prosecuting, prosecuting argument is so weak, we always poke holes in it. Okay, please provide court with your testimony about your plan to steal the sacred urn. Sec oh, another testimony. First received the request, Lordly Taylor, 10, 20 days ago. Urn were placed in a box. Vary was then sent to the warehouse. I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. Yeah, but the... Yeah, but the letter says speckled urn. How does he know it's speckled if he didn't see it? Huh? I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure. Sent my card 10 days before hand. Handled security by myself. Ensured crime would go smoothly. Held the urn in my hands for the first time. 1 a.m. October 12th. Find the truth hidden in the nuggets. All right, let's make sure we save again. 
Davari. I don't know why he says that either. It's so weak, it's weaker than those water bottle packages or toilet paper packages that kids like to poke holes. <laughs> you put holes in the packages? Sheesh. You poked your little finger in there? First received the request 20 days ago. Asked to guard the girl earned by Miss Adrian Andrews. Seeing they heard of my Zavarkling. Bark Zavarkling reputation. Is it maybe it's just maybe the Z is silent. Zavarkling reputation. It was fun. I know what you mean. I never did it, but I know what you mean. See Miss Andrews still acting weird. Okay, better watch out. When I was placed in a box, Vari went the Zen sent to the warehouse. This box, pathetic box. Andrews was especially taken with the urn. She wouldn't let anyone enter the storeroom, not even me. New tidbit. I was actually unable to see. This is the false part. You sure you had never seen the urn before? May I ask Lady Andrews confirm yourself. Security was focused entirely on entrance to the warehouse. I look at me, let no information whatsoever slip through my fingers. I'm gonna save and present the letter. We, we didn't even have to go through the whole testimony. Our thoughts were correct. If you really are Master Mask, also wrote the calling card, right? But of course. Problem with the calling card? Allow me to read a passage. Take good care of the speckled urn. Surely refers to the pink pattern on the sacred urn. That's true, so what? There's no way Master Mask could have known about this pattern if he never saw the vase or urn. Pink spotted pattern on the urn is actually nothing more than paint stains. Gotcha, suckers! Alright. These stains did not appear until after the urn had been taken to Lordly Taylor. Not finding the joke funny. What do you mean? Joke? What joke? What are you talking about? The day the sacred urn was taken to the warehouse, the urn was broken due to human error. Should I say error prone human? So, I mean, it's very... I'm kind of relieved Adrian Andrews was not his accomplice. I like her. She's a good her. She's a good person. That's when the pink urn got on the... That's when the pink paint got on the urn. This calling card clearly mentions paint pattern. Which means... Atme had seen urn long before the crime ever took place. He saw it when this fake photo was taken. He spits a lot of coffee out. Because his photo is fake, I mean, has he really drank 11 cups? I don't know if he keeps spitting it out. Your alibi for the night of the murder no longer holds water. <laughs> Have anything to say? Alright, he's broken. Still a little early for victory pose. Oh, good dot. He's still cool as a cucumber. No one has any conviction these days. We all decided unanimous, unanimous, unanimously this man was masked and masked. Now we're calling him a murderer. Don't think we're being a tad fickle? Do you see this face? It's not about being fickle. It's about having proof. It's about... The evidence showing something else. What? No. No, dummy. Luke Abney was the one who killed Kane Bullard. Why would he do that? Excellent point. We got the we got the blackmail letter. Motive, might you marry Mary Murder's motive manifest? Getting second win. Prepared an alibi, pinned his crime on Ron Delight, as you say. Must have had a very strong motive for murder. Only one with any motive we've seen is wrong. Isn't that right? Indeed. According to my own research, boy's motive is clear. 
Without motive, nearly impossible to prove guilt in a murder case. A lot. Yeah, the, the, the English translators really like to use their alliteration. Maybe you can enlighten us as to what the defendant's motives were. All right? Doing everything to make Ron look suspicious. Despite our lack of hard information, maybe our only chance. Wait, he gets to testify again? At no points of contact with the victim whatsoever. Kim Bullard decided to investigate Master Mass simply mistook who I was. Uh, Mr. Bullard who wrote the blackmail letter sent it to Ron Delight. It was again Mr. Bullard who harbored a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. Bullard's mistake quite excusable. The defendant truly believes his master mass. That's why Mr. Delight saw it fit to kill Kane Bullard. Truly a tragedy. Victim Kane Bullard blackmailed the defendant? I don't know. Make sure to hydrate. Bot says so. Hydrate. Blackmail letter found in the defendant's apartment. Handwritten test confirms Mr. Bullard was indeed the one who wrote the letter. Yeah, but Bullard sent it to Ron um, at me. God, I'm going to wipe that smirk off his stupid face. Who in the world is going to prove that? After doing thorough background check of Detective Atme and Kane Bullard. Hold it! We were unable to find any links between them. It's all in the report. Connected through their work, both involved in security. Only one with motive was Mr. Delight. Hold it! Mistook? Bright mistook. Old Norse Mistaka. Meaning to take an error. Is that is that real? Or is he making that up? What was it what I meant? Who did the victim mistake Mask the Bass to be? Mask the Mask? Answer is obvious, Ron Delight. Yeah, press harder. Why would the victim mistake the defendant for Mask the Mask? Alrighty, don't you already know? Zavari, take a look at this newspaper. Famous tier of Eminon, Magnificent Jewel. Photo shows Magnificent Detective, does it not? Furthermore, it also shows Ugly Guard, namely the Defendant. Victim clearly misread this article and Zvari got the wrong impression. The impression that this ugly security guard was in fact masked and masked. Mr. Bullard who wrote the blackmail letter sent it to Ron Delight. In this blackmail letter, bring 50,000. Handwriting is without a doubt the victim's. Official report. Don't see an address C on this letter, letter anywhere. Address C. Letter was discovered in Ron Delight's de apartment. Mr. Delight did show up at the designated place and time. The fact that there is no address C is irrelevant. What's up, Nick? I just had a thought. Maybe the letter was sent to Luke at me. Exactly. For some reason I can't shake the feeling. Well, because it says big fat red diamond. Red diamond in the letter. Something not quite about the black. Not quite right about the blackmail letter. No, we're not satisfied. What do you mean by that? Uh, certain you're already aware. Security has a lot of security info on sorts of all sorts of companies. Since I was security team chief, stole data from the company. Fuller had yet to forgive Young Delight, which is why I sent him a letter upon mistakenly believing he was the thief. Here is a file that we discovered in Mr. Bullard's office. Evidence Mr. Bullard was receiving money through blackmail. Isn't this a bit odd? Why did the defendant pay Bullard the money? So... 
What I th- well, Luke at me owed Bullard money for whatever reason, and he was using he was using Ron as master mask to do the crimes for him so he could take the money, right? Even though he wasn't actually master mask, point there was an unfortunate bit of chance. Mr. Bullard's mistake quite excusable. Defendant truly believes in master mask. Assertion is not merely my own, I'm afraid. Memo from Ron Delight's wife, Desiree Delight. Ronnie thinks he's master mask. Don't you feel sorry for him? Please don't think too badly of him. Well, Mr. Trite? What are you talking about? I thought it was actually convincing. Thought fit to kill, truly a tragedy. Alright, imagination comes, sir. Lawyer? I'm afraid imagination isn't the right word for it. The deduction, result of carefully applied reasoning. Our whole case has been deduction and that hasn't been worth diddly squat to anyone. Why, why should we believe you without proof? Long story, better save for another time. I'm gonna try to connect Detective at me to Mr. Bullard. Yes. I have to talk about the blackmail. Save. I think about the red diamond. Um, present the letter. No music? No music to my ears. We were right. It has something to do with that red diamond in the letter. The red diamond statement. Take that! Take that! You know, we got a point too. We got a point to make it serious. It's not serious if we don't point. And we got to slam the desk a little. If it's just a few, I guess it's all right. Well, you can't deny our questioning, buddy. When you said the letter was addressed to Ron Delight, I couldn't help but notice one major contradiction. Don't know where walking contradiction like you gets off saying things like, what? How are we a walking contradiction? Huh? That was fighting words. Good dot. Wanna talk? Times like these, men are made to express themselves with their fists. Yeah, punch, punch that visor right off your face. Show us what you got there. Time to man up, Mr. Wright. Contradicting evidence in the contents. Uh, Red Diamond. Uh-oh, this wasn't what I thought. this oh maybe it's this no that doesn't maybe It's Ron's testimony. Ha! Ah. A little two-one punch like that wouldn't even phase. Oh, that's that's wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ron. This is the third time you've been accused guilty. And there's probably more it, unless we get our uh, penalty points back. <laughs> oh, poor Ron. Okay, what's what's contradicting in the letter?
it ha I mean, I wanted to point out the diamond is what I wanted to point out. Like the red diamond. That's a blue diamond. Don't want your true identity revealed. Take the red diamond you received the other day. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Tier of Eminon is blue. Wait, was Ron wearing the brooch when he was in costume? I would assume so, yes. And it was torn off of him. Because the picture wouldn't have matched. Well, Ron was wearing his costume, which had the brooch, right? I mean, we, we know... We know this is... We know this is at me. Trying to recreate the scene. Huh. Contradiction. Show us the contradicting evidence in the, maybe it's a profile. Had to rip it off. Had to rip off the brooch. Wait, the contradiction evidence in the blackmail letter. No, oh, but what, is that, what does that have to do with the, the blackmail letter? Contradicts his letter. Take that. Nope. I don't know. What is contradicting in the letter? I thought it was about the red diamond. I mean, he's always showing it off, right? I mean, that's a huge clue. But we don't have evidence about that. Said the letter was addressed to Ron Delight. Couldn't help but notice a major contradiction. Animated experiment. Why don't you show us what you got? Show us contradicting evidence in the content of the black letter. Blackmail letter. 
Do you think it's the brooch? Beats turtle? His profile? It's detective. Well, it would show the ring in his profile. His acknowledge that he is fact master mass. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Right? If the letter was for well, no, 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 no. You don't want your true ident oh your true identity. Oh, that's the contradiction. No, I think you're right, Beats Turtle. The contradiction is about you don't want your true identity revealed. The blackmail letter, if it was for Ron, it would say. Yeah, no, no, no. I think I yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I think you're right. I think you're right. No, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. Or maybe I have to show mask to mask? That was a- that's a good thought, though. I think that's a good thought. Because reveal his identity? If he's claiming his mask to mask? I'm gonna show mask to mask now. That! Nope, that's not it either. Okay. Objection. Maybe Ron? Claims he is master mass used to work as a guard. No, that doesn't con contradict the letter though. If you don't want your true, I, I thought it was about this ring. Red diamond you received. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The red diamond you received. These are the crimes. There's no red diamond crime in here. This is the contradiction. I'm going to present this. No? No, that's not it either. Right? Wouldn't, wouldn't the red diamond ring be listed in that... Crying? Ah, God. What? That makes that makes sense. If he knew that I robbed the red diamond, it would have been in that folder, right? That's a contradiction. Objection. Maybe I think he too. Ah, uh, possibly. Contradicting evidence in the content of the black glove. Let's read it. Don't want your true identity to revealed. Come to KB Security at 1 on October 12th. Bring 50,000. Don't. I'll take the red diamond you received. Do the letter again. Oh, this same letter. That's, I was thinking that too, because sometimes you double up on it, but that's not it. Uh. Okay, okay, we're, I mean, we're stuck. 
Well, I mean, I mean, we're we're both we're both being wrong here. We got some good thoughts here, though. Contradiction evidence. Show us contradicting evidence in the contents of the black le mail letter. I'm going to purloin the most precious work of art on display. Yo, the last game was just, I don't know what's going on. Hydrate. True identity revealed. Come to KB security. Take the red diamond you received. Maybe it's... Did we do the brooch though? Maybe it is the brooch. Emerging blood trauma. Versus gem. Maybe that's the contradiction. You know, we maybe we had the right thought, but this is a blue gem, obviously, not a red one. Present. Oh my god, we figured it out. We were on the right track with the other the the book of cases. The the book of thefts. But this is I mean the this is a blue diamond, not a red one. Take a good look at this new paper clip, clip clipping. So we had the right ideas. It's just we weren't presenting the right evidence. Contains a picture of the tear of Eminon, that stolen jewel. What about it? Problem is the jewel's color. Not much for discussing color. According to the clipping, color of the stolen jewel was blue. However, in the blackmail letter, totally different jewel is mentioned. I'll take the red diamond you received the other day. Which means red diamond described in the blackmail letter is not the tier of Eminon that Master Mask stole at all. Objection. Objection. Your point it What do you mean your point? My point is he doesn't have the If that letter was meant for Ron, he doesn't have a red diamond. What do you mean what your point? Please, you're as bad as the judge. This is this is what I'm talking about. How the how the dialogue is constantly repeating itself. Like they have to make sure they they're they're. You know what it is. You know what it irritates me because it's assuming the player is dumb and needs needs this facts to be retold multiple times so we understand what's going on. I think I think that's why it, that's why it bothers me. That and it wastes time. Trying to say black metal was yes, that's what. Yeah, that's the whole, that's our whole argument. That's our whole argument. Yes, we're trying to say the blackmail letter was for someone else. Wasn't didn't we say that? That's what you yes yeah. He, that, yes. See, look, all this, all this is unnecessary. Yes, that's what we're trying to say. Who, this is who Kane Bullard was actually blackmailing. Profile. Naturally, it was you. Have some sort of basis. You have a red diamond on your finger. Oh, does Dora do that a lot? A lot of repeating itself? That's annoying. And there's a movie about her, too. A live action movie. Personally involved in every single mask to mask case. In the last case, you recovered what was stolen, received a jewel as your reward. Probably the one wrapped conspicuously around your finger. The red diamond ring. Oh, we're gonna save. We gotta save this. The red, the, this is the diamond referred to in the letter. 
Kane Bullet wrote the letter in order to blackmail you. Objection. Seems you've gone too far with your childish pranks. Kane Bullard blackmailing Luke at me? Are you for real? Yes. Alright, answer me this. Blackmail letter contains following pa I think we're nearing the end. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like we're near the end? I mean, it's 10 o'clock, but I kind of want to see if we can finish this tonight. If you don't want your identity revealed to the world... Kane Bullard threatened to make Luke Atme's identity public knowledge. Identity you wanted kept secret. What was that? Hey. Hey. What was the identity? He's behind Mask the Mask. He's afraid of his secret becoming known. He wasn't a real detective? An ace detective. Luke at me was an ace detective. Oh wait, that's not it? Oh god. He's master mask. Whoops. Oh, that was it. He went to jail once again. He's master mask. Alright. He's the real master mask. That's not it either. Oh, we, we already know he's Master Mask. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Process of elimination. That's bad. Luke at me was a blackmailer. Objection. A little different from what you've been saying? Kane Bullard was the one blackmailing Luke at me. He's saying at me was blackmailing someone else. <laughs> Uh, at me was blackmailing Ron. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke at me. Ron Delight was also being blackmailed. Yeah, duh. We start receiving blackmail letters after the incident. Just a few days after the tier of Eminem heist. Started getting plans in the mail. Received plans from some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. Ron Delight was actually masked and masked. That's what we're saying. Someone else came up with the plans, had Mr. Delight steal his targets for him. It sounds like, uh, Now You See Me. <laughs> Remember that movie? That someone was uh, none other than Luke Atme, the one with the magicians who actually stole stuff. But the other guy, I forgot his name, the magician name, was, um, the all-seeing eye or something was giving them tips of how to do their tricks. <laughs> Silence. Alright, now I see becoming clear. When you're in grade school, you receive the same report card every year. Yeah, straight A's. Careless with tendency to... What? No. I looked at me with blackmailing Ron Delight. In which case, I would naturally know all about his relation to Master Mass. Ron Delight started receiving plans from his second crime onward. I learned of his identity when he committed his first crime. Yeah. Here we go. We gotta prove something else again. Uh oh. Dave. Let's see some hot bitter evidence. Here we go. During the first crime, how did Luke at me know that Ron Delight was masked to mask? Because it's freaking right here in the clippings. When you were in grade school, receive what? Gets into lots, lots of mischief trying to be the center of attention. What do you mean? Newspaper clipping. A picture of you and Ron in his guard uniform. Seems Master Mask didn't just disappear in the thin air. Just took off his outfit, hidden in a bucket. With tricks like that, you couldn't fool a baby, let alone an ace detective. That's when you figured it out. When you learn under his mask, the mask... Looks he was an ace that can't believe it's just a slimy black boy. That's right. How dare you expose me like that? I mean, I've never blackmailed anyone in my life. I'm famous, proud, ace detective. 
Master Master Mask. Why can't you understand that? Afraid you're neither Proud Thief nor an Ace Detective. Blackmailer and murderer. That is your true identity. He's still wearing the mask. Oh, he's going crazy again. I think this guy's schizophrenic. Split person. No, schizophrenic. We finally arrived at the real answer. Quite a performance. Please prepare a cell for Mr. Atme. Oh, here we go. Now what? Hammer that strikes too fast. No time to aim. What? Allow me to say one thing. Now what are you... See? See? They're stretching it out. They're stretching out the game again. I'll be the... No, you're not the judge. The claws quite aren't, weren't quite sharp enough. You've proven a lot of things. Look at me was a filthy liar. Wasn't at Lord Lee Taylor the night of the murder. That's why he's the one who killed. Well, what we did, we didn't place him at the scene of the murder. Yeah, we had to prove because he wasn't at the warehouse doesn't mean he was at the murder scene. Fair enough. That's a fair assessment. You can't prove this beautiful excuse for a man was at KB Security. I don't see how a verdict can be delivered. Um, this trial is about our defendant being the murderer. We've poked so many holes in this prosecutor's case. Like, there's no way the judge can prove, can give a guilty verdict to Ron Delight. That's, that's the real defendant of this case. Oh my god. Alright. You know what? Um, we're probably at the end, but this is actually taking... Oh, gosh. Alright, alright. Let's... Fine, fine, fine. No. You know what? I'm going to hold off. <laughs> I'm done. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm a little frustrated at this game at the moment. Because it keeps drawing it out like this. This is, what, this is what happened in the last episode of the second game. Like, it just kept going and going and going. I mean, he makes a good point. The prosecutor makes a good point. But it's just like... Oh, are you serious? Um, but no, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here. It's probably gonna be like fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes into the next stream, tomorrow stream. We'll probably solve it and that's that. And get into the next episode. So the next episode will be the third episode. I made a mistake. Um I thought I thought solving the thief crime in this episode was the end of it. Uh but no. It was a continuation. So um, but thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Streamer, uh, streamer. I am Gamer Elite. Thank you again for the host if you're still around. Probably not because it's like 2 o'clock where he is. Um, but awesome streamer. Should check him out. Beat Turtle. Again, Cheerful Camper. Thank you all for hanging out, chatting with me. Um, hanging out while we get through this last game. I mean, I was, I was happy playing Dishonored. I really was. And coming back to this, I thought I was okay, and uh, it's still it's it's still going on. I th I think it wouldn't be so bad, you know. It wasn't so bad because I mean I took my time with the other games. I did other stuff, um. But playing this game like continuously day after day, it's kind of it's kind of grinding at my nerves. It's a good thing we took a break with this honor too, though. Huh. I mean, I like the puzzles. Don't get me wrong. I like the puzzles, but I mean, the the drawn the way the they drawn out the stories, it's kind of annoying. And I'm out of water. All right. Again, thank you for hanging out. Thanks for watching, chatting, or lurking. Uh, did I save? Let me be, just triple check. Save in the third slot. Triple check. We're saved. See if I can find a good host, or a hostie rather, someone to host. Pay it forward. Um, just big time streamers. I don't want to stream that. Anyone fe uh, streaming Phoenix Wright? Channels. Some Chinese dude. I don't even know how to read his name. And there is Haseo Terror of Death 99. Wow, that's 
That's a name. Not gonna lie, I kinda don't wanna host someone with a name like that. Terror of Death 99, Haseo. Oh, Terror of Death. Okay, anyway, we're no host tonight. <laughs> Sorry. But thanks for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow, same time, 8 o'clock uh, Hawaii time, 8 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. So take it easy. Have a good night. See you next time. <gasps> Keep safe. Did I say everything? Yeah. Stay hydrated too. Stay safe. Good night. Bye bye, noobsters.